states of matter. Materials come in three different forms, solid, liquids, and gas. There are called the three states of matter. The state of any material at certain temperature will depend on how strong the forces of attraction between the particles are at that particular temperature. Generally speaking, the state of matter of any material will depend on three factors. First, the material itself. Second, the temperature. Third, the pressure. The first state of matter is solids. So solids have uh, strong forces of attraction between the particles. The particles are fixed in their position. The particles cannot move from their position because they have fixed positions and they only vibrate. This is why they have a definite shape and they have definite volume. They cannot change their shape or their volume. They can only vibrate around their position or about their position. And if you give them heat or give them energy, they will start to vibrate faster. And that leads to some sort of expansion in the size or in the volume. The second state is the liquid. And liquids have weak forces of attraction between their particles. They are randomly arranged. Although they are randomly arranged and they have weak forces of attraction, but they are still stick together. This is why they have a definite volume, but they have a different, but a different shapes. They don't have a specific or definite shape. They have different shapes and they take the shape of any container they are contained in. The particles are constantly moving with random motion and if you give them energy, then they will start to move faster and they will expand. Gases. Gases have weak forces of attraction between their particles. They are free to move and they are far apart. They don't have definite volume or definite shape. They will take the volume and the shape of any container containing them. The particles are constantly moving with a random motion. The three states of matter can change from one to another through a physical change. These are called physical changes. The physical changes do not uh, change the particles themselves. They just m make the arrangement of the particle different. So when solids change into liquid, this is called the melting. And in melting, solids will be heated and the particles will gain energy. The particles will start to vibrate faster and the forces between the particles, forces of attraction between the particles will weaken. Then at melting point, the particles will have enough energy to be able to break free from their position. So they are no longer just vibrating, they're starting to move more freely and they will melt and solids become liquid. Then liquids can change to become gas. This is called boiling. Liquid will be heated and the particles will gain more energy. So the liquid particles will start to move faster and the forces of attraction between the particles will weaken the uh, break that will break the bond that hold the liquid particles together. And at boiling point, the particles will have enough energy to break their intermolecular forces of attraction completely. They will change from liquid into the gas where they will be completely free to move. Gases can change into liquid through condensation. In condensation, gases will be cooled and particles will lose energy, so they will start to move slower and the forces between the particles will be regained. At boiling point, which is exactly the same for condensation, so condensing point is the same as the boiling point, the particles will have enough intermolecular forces between them. They will start to condense and the, ca the gas will change its states from gas into a liquid. Liquids can change into gases, into solid. So when liquids are cooled, the particles will lose energy and they will start to move slower. Particles cannot then overcome the forces of attraction between the different particles and at melting point, which is exactly the same for freezing. So freezing point and melting point are the same. 
at melting point, the particles will have enough intermolecular forces in between them that they can only now vibrate. They will have the fixed position and they will change from liquid into solid.